the defining moment of world history. No place is feeling the impact of Robert Allen Stanford's alleged $9 billion scam more than the Caribbean island nation of Antigua. People are moving, the land is not moving, and we hear so many hours. Where officials have taken over his troubled bank. My mom's life savings, so I'm really sad she's an 80-year-old lady. I was hoping I could get her money. In Antigua, the Texas-based billionaire was both financier and philanthropist, sponsoring major cricket tournaments and planning a multi-million dollar luxury resort. There are hundreds and thousands of people whose livelihoods depend on the success and the continuance of his businesses. Stanford's business boasted more than 50,000 clients in 131 countries, including Venezuela. That's where the government seized his bank Friday and barred its directors from leaving. In New York, investors range from businessmen to ball players, including Yankees outfielder Johnny Damon. But in other cities like Baton Rouge, Stanford's name was synonymous with charity. He was a chief sponsor of the symphony orchestra and the LSU cheerleading squad. Well, we're just uh, perceiving what the effect of this may be on our cash flow for this particular year. For 15 years, Stanford claimed incredible double-digit returns for his investors. For example, in 1995 and 96, Stanford reported identical returns of 15.71 percent. And last year, when the stock market dropped 40 percent, Stanford said he lost only 1 percent. At the same time, Stanford and his employees backed a number of American politicians, contributing two and a half million dollars in the past eight years. Among them, Florida Senator Bill Nelson, Texas Congressman Pete Sessions, presidential candidates Barack Obama and John McCain, and former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay. Right now, Stanford's assets are frozen, and a court-appointed receiver is telling investors they won't have access to their funds for the foreseeable future. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.